Hello there everyone, this is Knight here, get ready to play Nightingale Realms Reborn. Alright, so today's goal, we're going to continue on with the main quest. If everything goes correctly, I should be uh, at the one place. Also, if you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I do do videos every day, and we're going to get right into it now. So, a few recommendations if you're going to try and clear this uh, cradle is you're going to want at least a pistol because it can uh, quick fire a lot of rounds. The, in the intro is going to be, whew, you're going to probably want some injuries solved and uh, you're probably going to want at least the this uh, tier gear equipment. I have a, I put Jabberwock on my hats, my gloves, my pack, and my boots. And I will say this, or shoes, the Jabberwock does not look good with uh, these kinds of shoes. At least not with these pants. Maybe different pants, but not this. But anyways... Uh, this is my stats here. This is my health. Re well, a hundred of it is coming from this right here. Be tomatoes. Uh, so, 130. And then we've got uh, all this. But anyways. we uh, Last episode, I showed you where to get Holt Bloom. And uh, that was something you were going to need for the part of this quest. I also told you the recommendations that you're going to need. Which would be a tier 2 alchemic boiler, a refined, or a tier 2, what do you call it, workbench, and a refined sickle. Those are the three things you're going to need in order to get the potion that uh, you just saw, or at least I think I showed you. So, after that, you've got two locations you're going to want to run to. It's up to you to choose which location in which order. I will also say, uh, corrupted wood on a bow actually looks cool. Uh, you may not be able to see it that well because it's dark and rainy, but anyways, we'll worry about that. I'll show you later. There are a few quests you can do around... Uh, these plant markers, like here, here, actually, I'm not sure about that one, but that one right there and that one there are guaranteed, well, at least on my thing, uh, locations, those two are two locations you can check. There's also a few others, but I have not marked them. So, we need to get to this cave here, the Corrupted Cave. Oops. Uh, Alright, I was going to go complete that, but we'll do that later. And then over here is the Corrupted Fey Ruins. So we need that location and this location. Because that's going to be where you're going to need to apply the things. Um globe and that we'll worry we'll remove this we don't need to worry about that so we got that over there now i do have a bit of a speed boost and uh if you don't find the potions that you're gonna need for the second tier you're going to uh you're going to have to learn them what the speed boost this makes so much faster although it's only a seven percent uh oh yeah i forgot about this place hopefully this has some of the potions i want because yeah uh, you're gonna need them if and the less you have to oh, carve stone and the less you have to uh learn and craft the faster and sooner you can uh progress uh, all right. Corrupted uh, wood is definitely amazing with that health regen. It's something you definitely want to put on some of your equipment. Uh, this one shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to do this just fine. I do recommend bringing... Ah, where the... F 
I do recommend bringing some, uh, what do you call it, climbing hooks with you. Uh, right. You do want to pop that, and you do want to avoid him, because he can pretty much one-shot you. Or at least he can one-shot me. Don't know about you guys. But I can also one-shot you. Whoop. Oh. Impressive. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. That's most of the clearing here. That's actually just for this. You could actually bypass uh, a lot of that. I, uh, But I didn't want to have to deal with them spawning on me. So once you've cleared that all out, there's a pathway down in here. Boop. And then you've got one puzzle, the puzzle here. Now I don't know if they're going to be the exact same spots, but these are locations you can keep an eye out. In other words, when you drop in, the one behind you, the one in front of you, there should be one right on that statue, there's one on that statue, and that may actually be all the statues. Now, you can uh, run around and figure out how to come in through the uh, window right there, but this is also part of the reason why I said to bring some climbing picks. Oh, I may not have enough stamina. Which means I might not be rested. Or I don't... Yeah. Uh, I recommend getting refined climbing picks with a speed boost and other fun things. Because then you don't have to... There we go. That might help out. Nope, we're going to be short. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to climb around. Uh, I thought I, I thought I was going to have enough stamina. If you have a stamina build, you can do it. So we're going to have to um, go out and around. Again, there's one on that statue. You can look for one on this statue. And I think... One... Two... There might be a place that we have to pop uh, open, or actually, no, I think it's through here. Uh, this way? Yes, and then there's one over here. I probably should pull out, woo, that's bright as hell. Ooh, fire marble, don't care. I can extract that. What I want is the gunpowder. And I think... I think this is how I get back out. Yes, it is. And then there's one through the gate here that I did not know about. Alright, we're gonna have to... I will say these look amazing at night. But we're going to have to run around and we're going to have to go drop down on that one spot because I'm a little sad. All right. There's also this. You can read it or pause it and read it. So whatever excuses has blah, 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 blah. All right. Now we're going to come over to here and uh, we can either jump across. Yeah. Which, uh, we're going to need that. Whee! And then we're going to climb up. So this is an alternative way if you don't, can't climb up like me. And that should be all of them. So that's the f Corrupted Fae. Woo! So over here, you don't have to worry about this. You just come over here, approach... Pain, neither the drive strength to fight you. Perfect candidate to test. You pour it on. It fizzles and explodes and burns and disappears and blah, 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 blah. Yay!
so that's what these guys look like. They have one hell of a mouth. Anyways, enough with that. Uh, all right, over here. Uh, artisan card realm and the antiquarian desert. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's magic power. Eh, don't care. Uh, we'll take the rest of this. All right, now I think we get out through. Oh. Oh yeah, Puck's gonna uh appear. Where are you at? Come on. There you are. What's this? Intrepid fleshling. Claiming blah, 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 bounty blah, blah. from deep within the hypogean sanctums of fairer folk. Yet has thou any inkling of what thou holdest cupped in mortal mitts? A power the synchronous lotus is no simple bauble, but a potent fay bijou. Fill to bursting with a mere sliver of the realm's magic. It is the scavenged foundation blah, upon blah, which blah, your blah. kind so often builds their fanciful toys. Can you hurry up? Forget not that it was we who bestowed magic unto man. Without such generosity, what might the children of Earth have been reduced to? Scientists? No. Even with my kin absent, there is great danger in plucking our pelf while foregoing reciprocity. What luck we two are friends, that I may beteem this boon unto you. Mm. And since you now possess the means to power it, I have another gift to grant. Another? One more of Robin's favors parceled. The means to construct a portal of one's own. In eons past, portals were notoriously taxing and toilsome for humans to conceive and maintain. However, in the turmoil following the calamity, I chanced upon a newfangled arch design that dares to make elementary what was once unattainable. Sure. You need only seek the materials required to raise this crude apparatus and place the lotus therein. Erecting it will create a contract with this realm's spirits to tame the interrealmic lacuna. Use it well, realm walker, that you may yet catch the flown nightingale. Are you done? Alright, thank you. Bye bye, stupid. Pretty sure I, I like him, but I'm pretty sure he's evil. Right, we gotta go out the door. Uh, nope, wrong door. Uh, right, this side. And through here. Alright, so now that this place is uh, done, we've gotta go to the top hat, which is over that way. Oh, hey, look at that. More Holt Bloom. This is another location you could potentially find Holt Bloom at. Anyways, we're going to continue on. We're going to try and get this located. And then we're going to try and get the second part of the uh, quest, which means we're going to have to go play with uh, Corrupted Trees. Woo! Yeah, baby. Hi, pig. Bye, pig. Have I cleared that out? I don't know. Nope, no, I have not. I'll have to come back for that. Whee! Alright, let's uh, run by. The Oh yeah, this was another reason why I suggested bringing climbing picks. Although I may not have the stamina for it, but... Uh, was it? Yes, it's down. Alright, whee! Stupid. You missed! Haha. <laughs> All right, let's go up in here and, uh, all oh, right. If you guys want to, you can pause, you can read. There's, uh, quite a bit of here in the, ooh, ow. Stupid. All right, well, 
Might as well take your uh, meat, bones, and essence. Thank you. Uh, just because. So these things, they will attack you if you get it too close. You can just run along against the wall and you should be fine. You do want to be careful. Now there's a couple pathways you can go and a couple ways you can uh, get reach certain items. Speaking of, uh, that's shimmering, shimmering, uh, that's sulfur, I think. Ah, uh, yes. Over here, this is how you, uh, yes, I didn't, sh I didn't explain how to get, uh, here, but this is where you find the runes, as you can see right there. Whee! Ah! I don't think I can climb back up. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to run back around and we're gonna need the umbrella. I kind of wish I had focused a little bit more on stamina, but uh, range and health regen were the two things I focused on in preparation for uh, this up and, up and coming battle. All right. Whee! I recommend, uh, an umbrella. Now over here, you have a couple options. And, uh, my personal opinion, I'm going to try and memorize it. And other griffs you've seen before. Uh, must be Puck warned you about. Shatter, pay close attention, can discern unfamiliar shapes, sent forming sentences in a language you don't understand, failing, uh, you can choose to shatter it or you can attempt to memorize a few minutes, meticulously studying the shapes, committing their delicate lines and curves to your memory, and then after that you have to shatter it in order to finish it. Because I'm curious if this is going to play a role in later, and it's possible... Ooh, hello there. Pretty sure he knows I tried to memorize it. Another fine favor finished. I had faith my goodwill was not misplaced. And of course, fret not over the shattered glyph. It was little more than a flawed record of events already long past relevancy. Now then, your well-earned reward. The Fey who bound Sylvan's cradle in contract are ones I knew well, though they have long since fallen from the graces of more eminent kin. The folly inherent of their dealings here, oaths of blood, suffering eternal, is their gauche indelicacy, typical for Fey of their caliber. Such brutish contracts invariably hold ways to circumvent them, and this is no exception. One might consider that suffering can be ended in a myriad of ways. Some violate the terms of this deal, but not all. Do with this what you may. My knowledge is yours, and this arrangement is satisfied. Woo! All right, thank you. Now we're gonna. Now there's uh, once you get this, you can basically drop down. Whee! And was it that way? Ah, right over here. Literally, w once you shatter that, you just drop down. You come over to here and whee! approach, and the mushroom infected. You dump your crud on it. And then it's going to be like sizzle, froth, corrupt, kaboom. Yay. And then after that, you have to get out of here, which you have a couple choices. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but whee, you can use your picks, climb over this and minimize your hurt. All right. I think I can glide around this. Whee! All right. 
now we should be able to get out. We'll be able to go talk. We're going to need to get the second part of the uh, potion. Ah! The second part of the potion. I'm going to try and get both, uh, all the, all the parts. Basically, I want to get ready to enter the, uh, place this episode. Oh, hello there. Are you guys back? Ow. That was rude. Hmm. This is actually helps with my healing, but, uh... All right, let's get on over here. We're going to talk to them. They're going to give us some items, and we're going to have to craft a few things. I think I found the potions, which is why I ended up getting one of the overpowered uh, items that I kind of wish I had gotten more of. Ooh, bye, guys. I'm not here to deal with you. Woo! You missed. Ooh, out of stamina. Now, you do have to be careful. Some of those guys can potentially uh, be deadly. Are you going to keep following or are you going to leave me alone? Okay. So now we come back. We talk to her. Eh, have need of me. Make it quick. Test your potions. Realm Walker. Conditions grown worse. Must tell me. Potions effect. Ah! Where the flip did you come from? Flip nuggets. Whee! There we go. Goodbye, stupid. Are there any more stupid idiots around here? I will blast the hell out of you. All right. Now let's continue on, hopefully, uninterrupted. All right, I'm back. You. Tell me, blah, blah, blah. Sickness cures symptoms. Appears to work. Symptoms were visibly diminished. Promising indeed. What of the Carnute? Far different life form. Evidence. Tests have seemed to prove, but not awake from its slumber. An improvement, nonetheless. Must say, favorable outcome as I could have hoped for. Need to strengthen the bomb to, into a true curative. Once combined, original formula. Be ready to give to whatever. Uh, nope, we're going to have to go and treat the trees. Uh, yep. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to have to go treat the trees. Yay! So... We'll turn as quick works as device. Spread rot from the afflicted trees. Apply to the roots. Exhume forest entirely. Best of luck. Common with earthly fungus. Basically, the trees share roots, so I just gotta find the roots, dump it on the roots, and voila. It's every, every everything, all the trees magically cure. Alright, best of luck. Yeah, baby. Uh, ooh. Alright, so now that we've got that, we're gonna have to head back home, which means respite. We're going to go craft the potion. Well, actually, I think we got to learn the potion. Then we got to craft it. And then we got to go cure the roots. So I'm going to get the roots cured. And then we should be ready to uh, enter the ruins. At which point, woo! Let's just hope we can make it through without dying. Uh... Last time when I was off cam off camera on a different profile, I whew, I was not prepared. I th they they need to balance those uh, whatever you call it the nests. The nests are a bit uh all oh, right. 
Uh, hmm. Where the flip did I get the tin, the crown from? Anyways, they offer for free, for free, for free. Which I kind of wish they would have these all green, but uh, that indicates, hey, you can get these for free. Or you can spend the cost, uh, spend the pre-buy them. That would be actually very, very helpful. Anyways. Uh, right, we need tier 2 because it's a tier 2 item. Uh, right there. And for free. See, purity, uh, extinguishing, uh, cure, injury. Yes. Uh... There we go. And this will give us five of them. Yay! I'm gonna have to figure out where the hell I feel right. Uh, for now, we'll just dump what we can. I'm gonna have to get better uh, chests because I'm running out of room here. <laughs> Uh, right. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to have to go play with the ruins. Actually, we should eat. Travel the crossway. Woo! And then go to the roots. Once we get the roots, we should be ready for the final episode. Well, not final episode, but for the next episode. I got to correct that. And then I'm going to show you how fun it is to do this uh, cradle. Also, this is also it, it's also going to be part of the reason why I said to bring uh, climbing, climbing picks. Admittedly, preferably, uh, what do you call it? All right, so we're aware. Ah, we got to go to the corrupted crypt, which is way out over there. Yeah, baby, that's hell of a distance. But first, we're gonna go sleep. Whee! This way, I'm not t bringing up or having to run through a bunch of idiots in order to get there and fight into the death. Plus, if I remember correctly, I think being rested improves your stamina regen. Uh, gain health per minute, so what are we at? 19, that's actually a pretty decent amount, and then stamina. So yeah, we get quite a bit of stamina regen. If I remember correctly, we need to go to that. Oh yeah, that stamina regen makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, there's some wee. Uh, there's some hope bloom over here. If you decide you want to find more, there's actually one right there and one right there. Again, can't guarantee it's going to be in the same spot, but that's what it looks like. Uh, the speed really does make a huge difference. Sadly, I don't have, I'm going to have to wait till like tier three in order to mine whatever the hell that is, which I think is gems. Personally, I would love to see them to open up the option to use multiple item, different types of items. For example, if something like buttons, it would be nice to have an option to use metal or gems or something of that nature. And is there a corrupted one of you? Oh, you're right here. There's the little tiny tree. Huh. They, 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 they varied the guy, the Holtz. Oh, there's a portal here. Is it still activable? Activatable? 
Ooh. Antiquarian abundance. Huh. I'm gonna have to check that out next time. Not not next episode, but next time. I'll probably craft something stupid or something. All right, over here. Yay! There's usually. Oh, here's another note, uh, just in case. If you want, you can pause. And you can read it. It's pretty much just like this. So we'll let you get enough to read this. Then we'll let you get enough to read that. And there you go. All right, we're gonna go down. Ooh. I didn't expect him. Now this is the thing I like that they added is the, when you aim, you can get a first person view. That, that helps a little bit when it comes to their stupid aiming. Their aiming is like off by like a good little bit. All right. Uh, this I believe is one location where you're gonna wanna bring Part of the reason why is uh, this is actually part of the reason. Uh, I don't know if I've they're here close enough or I trigger them. Wait, I thought I. Okay, there we go. Oops. Meant to aim, but oh well. Okay, so they're downstairs. Here we are. Oops. Hi. There we go. Uh, yeah. You want to get rid of these guys. You do have to be careful of guys who can shoot, but uh, other than that, you want to you can stand up here. They personally made these nests uh, a little too OP. Now, where the hell did you go? Did you run up? Betty ran up. All right. Uh, there, there he is. Hi, Al. Uh, mother effer. We're gonna have to pick a different spot. I think we can get him from here. Woo! Hi. Uh, nope. Ah, there we go. We, we're gonna have to get over on that side. Where, where did you go? Sometimes you gotta pick and choose the right areas in order to lure them out and lure them to you. I think we should be high enough out of his reach. This is kind of why the the guys they hit hard even with uh, Whatever you call it did he just I Think he may have evaporated So there are a couple paths you can take and after a certain amount of time the guys do despawn but pretty sure he ran somewhere You missed.
There we go. Sometimes you have to drop and then... Got him. Again, this is not foolproof. You can, explosive guys can still hurt you. Uh, these idiots will flee or run in directions that you sometimes can't get and then you have to move into better positions sometimes they try and get you from the top because you're uh that's supposedly a easier position to reach you which i might have to get over there in order to get that idiot yeah he's sitting on top there all right Ow. Woo, you missed. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Oops. There we go. I'm low enough he can't. Oh, he vaporized. Ha. <laughs> Stupid. All right. Uh. Let's just climb up this, and then we can... Ah, oh, I missed. Haha. <laughs> nope. Nope, you're not throwing that. There we go. Sometimes you got a quick draw. Now we should be able to pop that. If you can pop it in one shot, you don't have to worry about uh, him summoning it, summoning those guys. And then the biggest reason why, oh, biggest reason why I suggest climbing picks is because these guys are OP. Especially with that move and their speed. Yes, yes. Sit right there where your friend just died. Oh. I hear someone get ready to... Ah, there's another one of those spawners over there. These guys, you gotta be careful. They can sometimes uh, manage to launch up and hit you somehow. I have no clue how they. Ow. Those guys are uh, the deadliest. As you can see, he nearly wiped me out. Had I not had so much HP, I would have been dead. Dang it. Ow. Dang it. I was hoping to get through this without getting killed. As I said, not perfect. All right, uh, 600 and something. That's a long ways. I probably should have used this when I had the chance. I could have restored a lot of my health. That's why I made so many, but I forgot about them because, yeah, I was doing so good. All right, still, we've cleared out most of the things, so it shouldn't be hard to get through uh, back down there. All I got to do is just make sure to uh, find a good spot. Potentially... Woo! Uh, potentially, if I can 
kill those guys before they fire. Now, with those guys, it's easier to remain on the ground and just shoot them and run. But the other guys, you're going to want to climb up. They, it makes it where much, much harder for them to reach you. And yes, this video is going a lot longer than I anticipated. But I wanted to get I want to get everything cleared out and ready to go for the next episode because that one is also going to be a long one. I could use this. This might have been an option to have used, but uh anyways, woo, hi guys. Bye guys. Whoa, there are a lot of you. Where the hell you all come from? Anyways, down we go. Wee Alright, get my stamina back. Again, these guys spawn too quickly. Are those things still following me? Oh, hi. Ow. You missed. Haha. -ha. Wow, those things were following me. There we go. Oh, there's another one. That must have respawned. Sometimes these things do respawn. And I don't know why... Or how. Where oh, where are the rest of the idiots? I need to get rid of them because yeah. Really? Dang it. I wish I wish they would fix their hitboxes. Because some of these hitboxes, I'm like, I should be clearing that, and I'm not. Alright, I think the rest of the guys have vaporized. Those idiots, I can just simply block and uh, stab. Ooh, there, ooh. I did not realize there were still a bunch of them. Alright, you need to die. Now where, oh where did those... Hmm. The only thing I can think of is maybe climbing on there and luring them out that way. Because if I can get right about here, I should be able to. Alright, I think they disappeared. So over here, you're going to be applying to the roots here. And we'll have everything cured. Then we can go talk to that guy and blah, 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 blah. Confluence could slow down the spread of the corruption. Corruption will turn, but reprieve by time. Pour this in. Cold. Blood burns. Sharp as ice. Woo! And then... Spun a wicked remains. Flicker. Mmm. Acid. Da -da -da -da. For now. Yay! Alright, so that takes care of all that. So now we can basically... Ooh! Mine. Uh, I don't have that yet, but I mean, might as well. All right, now we're at a point where we can talk to the guy. Then we'll give him the uh, potion and blah, blah, blah. And then we should be able to go in. So for now, if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, I understand. This was long. It was probably annoying. And who knows? But anyways, 
if you enjoyed learning and uh, enjoyed the playthrough and my little commentary and all that, make sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't, eh, maybe next time. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys come back for more. If you guys want to see more of this series, check out my channel. And if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain amount of time, I'll add you on. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna get. Ooh. I'm gonna get ready for the next episode. So bye bye.